little buddy you are all over the news these days oh hello everyone i'm kothik singh chima uh, your host for today in the beautiful campus of chitwal university in punjab uh today we are joined with us uh with a personality who perfectly blends academia innovation and entrepreneurship so without any ado let's know more about him hi sir hi hello sir how hello. are you kothik Yeah. How are you, Great. sir? I'm good. How are you? Great. And sir, uh, I was just checking this out. I hope uh, it doesn't have missiles and everything in it. <laughs> But uh, I would love to know more about it, your journey as well. I hope you are ready. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Perfect, perfect. So, sir, uh, you know, being a professor, first you cleared your gate and became a PhD scholar, then a professor, then innovator and startup founder. So, what inspired this journey? Uh, my journey has been driven by the curiosity and a desire to bridge the gap between the academic knowledge and the practical implementation mm. so if i talk about the curiosity it allows us to think critically and ask the better questions that leads to the innovation so so can we say that sintara tech is all about drones uh, sir initially we started with the idea of making the drones yeah. but later on with the uh, scope expansion with our team expansion we are now working with the ai drones okay. uh, computer visions and different iot kind of the uh, projects okay so lovely so sir i would also love to know about the various projects you've done and uh, how do you ensure that your projects uh, solve the real world problems yes yes uh, we are like as i told you like from the starting itself we are very curious about the real world problems and we try to solve those things so in that journey if uh, i i would say for me innovation begins with one core question that uh, whose problem we are solving and uh, how uh, it how urgently it needs a solution so i strongly believe that we can find out the problems in our daily life everyday life so in that case uh, like if i take one example i uh, during the visit to the hospital during covid 19 mm. i just developed one device by uh, analyzing the pain point of one patient mm. i visited in the hospital one of the reputed hospital in the uh, hyderabad mm. so saline bottle i made one uh, remotely controlled saline bottle okay. because i noticed that uh, i observed that saline bottle gets unnoticed when the caretaker or the doctor or the nurses uh, the, even even that time because it was the uh, circumstances was like that only and they didn't like they were restricted to visit frequently near to the patient mm-hmm. they just uh, keep it unattended the saline bottle and it causes the serious in complications mm-hmm. like due to the pressure difference between the saline bottle and the body uh, pressure mm-hmm. the blood starts flowing in the reverse direction that was the serious complication all oh, right and uh, sometimes also i noticed during my research like in that day and night time mm-hmm. the nurses they keep the flow very uh, slow very slow right. so that they can sleep yeah. and the bottle completed in the morning yeah so full night the bottle is going inside the right and in the day time sometimes if they needed the very fast uh, dripping mm. they made it very fast okay that is also not good for the health right So by keeping all these things in my mind I developed one device that can be remotely controlled hmm. we can see the whole uh, like hospital bottles hold the patient's bottle how much saline is remaining in the bottle hmm. and one more feature was there like it can automatically switch off when the saline level comes below the threshold level okay so it is it is it is like appreciated by the hospitals and i got the grant from the newgen idc dst government of india mm. to make a product prototype uh, for this one Lovely. and later on later on like one of the reputed hospital in hyderabad they just like gave us one uh, like uh, offer to make a product to mm. scale it mm. but due to some circumstances i i came to the chitkara university mm. and uh, i left that my idea behind mm. so i'll i'll start it again in the future whenever uh, the things will uh, be normal and all so like that one more problem i want to discuss like fuel tank guard okay fuel tank guard i just made it for the ministry of the Co- ministry of coal okay lovely ministry of coal like just asking about uh, like to protect their fuel tank mm. for the trucks and hmm hmm is like heavy earth moving machinery right 
So for a transport company, like thousands of trucks are there in the coal mines. They are moving, hmm. but they are not protecting uh, their fuel tank. Hmm. Uh, so I, I just developed one device, the anti-siphon product okay. that that can be settled into the uh, fuel tank mm. and it can prevent the stealing of the fuel. Mm. So such kind of the projects like by uh, analyzing the pain point of the right. users, I right. just developed like that. Right. So g great ideas always come from the uh, problems you see day to day. So that's that's great uh, kind of observation you is, have, sir, and uh, the kind of solutions you are giving. I hope these uh, get into a large scale. I uh, would also love to know because, again, when coming back to your uh, startup idea, that is Sintara, uh, there's so many different kind of drones uh, available. It's all over the news these days. So can you tell about different kind of drones you made and what are the use uh, benefits or the functionalities of different kind of drones? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, share that we are incubated at Chitkara University. Oh, in law. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, it is our, the, the great opportunity and uh, like the facilities, uh, mm -hmm. incubation resources we use here. Okay. So like we developed one product for NDRF. Okay. Like NDRF, National Disaster Response Force. Okay. So my drone that I developed, it was specially for a special purpose mm -hmm. for the disaster response, okay. search and rescue. Okay. So this product I developed uh, for uh, NDRF in mm -hmm. Smart India Hackathon. Okay. Yeah. Love so my team, uh, they just effort and uh, made it successful. Mm -hmm. So, so the drone, what I made for the NDRF, that is uh, particularly for the search and the rescue operations. Mm -hmm. So where there was one problem given to us mm -hmm. uh, in that particular event. Mm -hmm. Like uh, when the buildings or landslide or the flood during that uh, disaster, mm -hmm. they were unable to find the dead bodies mm -hmm. or the live women. Mm -hmm. So they were uh, unable to find those things. They were asking the technological solutions and we provided that like our drone can go to the terrains, like in the harsh environment where a human can't go directly. Right. So so it can sense, it can detect under the ground also, under the rubble. Okay. Uh, under the rubble, like in the landslide, right. it can detect the disease. It can code. be a big savior, sir. Yes, 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 yes. It is like a game changer right. in this uh, technology. We we just made the solution and it was really appreciated by the NDRF officials. Okay. And uh, they, they just, like uh, this is in the final stage of the ministry, uh, in the ministry officials like okay. we can get uh, the funding for making the full prototype right so i follow a simple approach observe listen and prototype so uh, you were talking about the different types of the drone in that context i would say like we have different different categories of the drones mm. like fixed wing drones multi rotor drones special purpose drones swarm drones there are so many categories we have seen uh, like the drones were not much popular 15 years back 10 years back mm. we have seen the drones in our like function in marriages like aerial photography and videography but nowadays uh, these are very famous uh, these these are very famous uh, like entity we can see and if we talk about the drones that we are working we are working for the multi-rotor drones like quadcopter and the hexacopter drones so you can you can see here like these this is the quadcopter drones okay yeah so interesting. interesting yeah this is quadcopter drone we have developed so, so many drones like this drone is there that is also one drone so this drone especially we are making and uh, this is autonomous drone. It can autonomously go. It can intelligently find its path. Okay. Uh, based on that intelligence, we have put here the pixel and other mechanism inside it. Okay. So this is the multi-purpose drone. We can attach the sensor box here. We can okay. use the same drone in the NDRF. We have used this drone in the NDRF also. Lovely. So like that. Uh, Perfect. So, yeah. So, sir, you are so much into uh, IoT and drones. So I would love to know that what technology excites you the most? Uh, right now, uh, the technology for which I am much excited, that is the convergence of like AI with the IoT uh -huh. and the autonomous drones. Uh -huh. So nowadays we are entering into the era where the devices not only collecting the data, but also uh, taking the decisions in the real time. Uh -huh. That is like... Uh, making the efforts or human intervention very less. Mm. So the devices can take their decisions by mm. themselves. So, so seeing these uh, recent geopolitical scenarios between few countries like Russia, Ukraine, Israel, Gaza, 
uh, due to the Pahalgam terrorist attack, we could see India, Pakistan. Uh, drones uh, are ev evolving in the defense aspects as well. So how do you feel and uh, what are your POVs regarding how drones are acting in this space? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, like we can see in the modern warfare, uh, drones are not only performing like the supporting tool, hmm. but they are uh, performing the battle even. Right. So nowadays, the wars are not only with the people. The wars are based on the technology. Yes. Countries are fighting based on the technology. So drones are being used for the battlefield in the modern warfare nowadays. So we can see, like, in, initially in World War II, drones uh, were being used that time also. But the purpose was only for the surveillance. Hmm. But nowadays, we can see without crossing the borders, without crossing the LOCs. Hmm. So uh, countries are fighting based on the drones. They can strike on the targets nowadays. Like if you are talking about the particular like uh, recent conflicts. Hmm. So they are using Kamikaze drone. Right. So Kamikaze drone is like one time huge UAV. You know, uh, unmanned Societal UAV. kind of. Yes, yeah, societal kind of thing. Because uh, they destroy themselves by destroying the targets. Okay. So they strike uh, precisely on the target. Mm -hmm. without human intervention. So they are autonomously and uh, without human piloted. Okay. So such kind of the technology wars are there nowadays and it will be evolving like AI driven technology is coming, mm -hmm. autonomy is coming. Mm -hmm. So this is becoming very high in the future even. So sir, so you've mentored 30 plus uh, projects, uh, won national hackathons, have many patents in your kitty. Uh, what is the most uh, valuable achievement uh, according to you? Why I'm proud of every uh, milestone, but the major thing is like when I mentor the students to their success. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I mentored so many projects from last uh, 10 years, but the may, uh, aha moment if you are asking, so recently in 2020, uh, 2024, December 2024, right. we won national uh, hackathon, Smart India Hackathon, that is considered as, as the world's biggest hackathon. Mm. So there we faced a little difficulty because when we were trying to fly our drone, so it was like broken due to some technical glitch okay. in the final evaluation on the fifth day mm. so we uh, like uh, were stuck at that moment mm -hmm. and suddenly my team like uh, I have the team very good experts team is there they just made again that drone in one hour Okay. So it was really the aha moment and the evaluators, they just appreciated this thing that you just developed the drone in one hour. So other teams, they, they were trying to develop the drones in four days that we have done in one hour and we won the national hackathon, biggest hackathon. So this was really the amazing moment for me love and me. my team. Love to know that, sir. And also, I would love to know about the startup you, which you're fondly creating. Uh, what is the vision, long-term vision for your startup, sir? At Sintara Tech, our long-term vision is to uh, uh, develop a collaborative team. Now we are developing like a drone. So we are just trying to expand our vision in different, different fields, different, different verticals like AI. We are working convergence, edge AI, IoT, computer vision. So combinedly, we will just make it and we uh, like uh, make uh, a real world uh, product. So uh, right now the like we are working with three projects. One is uh, really like uh, related to the drone. Second is related to the medicine delivery. Like we are trying to make a big drone. Like so, and third one is related to the AI that is related to the fashion idea. Mm. So we are currently working on three major projects. So uh, what I am thinking in my vision, like uh, right now we are working seven people, and I am thinking in next five years, hundred to two hundreds people will be working with us. And in next few years, we will try to build uh, like strategic collaborations with the industry, with the researchers, innovators, investors, and we will try to make the deep tech and R&D hub in our company in next few years. That's lovely uh, to know, uh, sir. So, sir, I would also love to know that what kind of qualities and habits uh, have you inculcated which helped you uh, to be successful as you are and uh, to be innovative all the time. Oh, great. Uh, consistency and curiosity have been the cornerstones of my career mm -hmm. and my journey. 
I believe in the curiosity. I stay myself uh, uh, curious, uh, curious about the things, hmm. about the technology that hmm. helps me asking the better questions hmm. that will give the impact in the prototyping. Hmm. So I believe in the hands-on experimentation, uh, uh, mentorship and the collaboration. I really don't think like uh, th this is the student. Hmm. I uh, I have to teach to them. Hmm. Maybe sometime I am learning from them. Hmm. This is the main thing. I'm, I, I just like... Uh, uh, follow those those things okay. and uh, i i encourage the students uh, to make uh, the uh, i i always encourage the students to build their prototype uh, for solving the real world problems hmm. and my role is more of a catalyst mm -hmm. that helps the students to think critically deep uh, exploration about the technology that will shape their like ideas into the prototype or the product Right, sir. So I, I again uh, would, you know, uh, give a plus one to this point. Why? Because my father always used to say that you have to be inquisitive, you have to be curious, and that question of why should always be there. Why is it happening? What is the basic reason of whatever you're doing? So uh, thank you very much for answering that. And lastly, I would love to know what is the uh, what a uh, what would be your uh, piece of advice uh, which you would like to give to the students. Uh, especially in terms of technology or uh, drones maybe, whatever you want to say. Yeah. So, yeah. I would like to say uh, nowadays to the youngest uh, that don't wait for the perfect idea. Mm -hmm. Start building from where you are thinking. Mm -hmm. That will push your boundaries to make innovative product. Mm -hmm. I would like to say to the uh, uh, students, stay humble, stay curious and more importantly, take action. And your first prototype might not change the world, but it may change you. That will start your real growth. That was lovely, sir. And we had a lovely conversation around IoT, about technology, about the drones, which are a hot topic, even for students to create their innovative minds on it, because this sector, and specifically this domain, is increasing, growing day by day. And thank you very much for your time, sir. It was lovely connecting with you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, sir, for, you for your much. valuable inputs. Thank, thank you. Very you. Much. Thank you, sir.